All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bahabrachakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in our truth and in all sincerity. And today I just want to get into a lesson how we have to be inspirational to the brotherhood or the body. Okay. And what inspired uh, this lesson is that uh, that out here in uh, GM at Chicago, we have uh, this um, this chat app, okay, called GroupMe, and pretty much, you know, we got. You know, all the brothers in it and brothers, you know, they post all sorts of things from articles, you know, like news clips, you know, news articles to scriptures. All right. To, to videos. And, um, you know, you, you see a lot of things. OK. You know, you, you know, and it gets you uh, in good spirits. All right. You know, get you motivated. All right, it gets you in the spirit of, you know, wanting to, you know, uh, labor, okay? And, um, you know, you, you just get uplifted, all right? And, um, you know, th these things are, you know, necessary, you know, because you got to remember that uh, we're not only doing these things for ourselves, all right, but the body as a whole, and let's get a scripture on that, all right? This is a... Sirach 33 and 17, and it reads here, Consider that I labor not for myself only, but for all them that seek learning. You see, this uh, this work that we put in, now of course, first and foremost, it's for ourselves, because the scriptures say what? In the book of Philippians uh, 2 and 12, it says that, um, that we got to work out our own salvation, okay, with fear and trembling, you see? So everything, you know, of course, is first and foremost for ourselves, but, you know, we're still a body, okay? And we do this, you know, for each other as well, you know? And it's much needed because there's times where, you know, you, you might be down in the dump, so to speak, all right? You know, you, you're just in low spirits, not feeling too well. But when, you know, when you get amongst the body, you know, you, 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 you feel better, okay? You know, or you start, you know, um, you might see a brother. Um, he, he, he does particular things, and it's, you know, um, bettering his walk. And now, you know, you're like, you know what? You know, hey, that brother does X, Y, Z things. You know, I'm going to try it too. Maybe it'll help me out in my walk, Okay? And now, hey, that, 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 uh, that righteous, you know, spirit, you know, rubbed off on you, you know, and now, and now, now you're, you, uh, 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 you know, elevating, okay? You're growing, you see? So these things are, you know, so being inspirational to a brother is very important, okay? Now let's look up this word inspirational, right? So it says inspirational, this is from the etymology, Okay? Or oh, this is the uh, from etymonline.com, and this is the etymology of the word. So inspirational goes uh, into tending to inspire, right? All right, so let's get this. Let's look up that word in inspiration. Immediate influence of the Most High or a God. Okay, you see. And hey, let's get this scripture. Let's get um. What is that? First Corinthians, real quick. The 11th chapter. This is what Paul said. The Apostle Paul, okay? And it reads here. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I am, even, even as I also am of Yahweh Shai. You see? You know, now first and foremost, we know that um, Yahweh Shai, right? Yeah, that's whom we should be following first and foremost, okay? 
But I'll say this. There are men, okay, which a lot of, hey, I'll say this. Side note, you got guys out there who, who don't believe this statement, right? You got uh, men out there that the Lord has set up, okay, to lead. Okay? To lead, all right, the people. Hey, the scriptures talk about that. That the Lord is going to, um, um, uh, what was it, 2nd Ezra, the uh, first chapter. When you read uh, the last few verses, it talks about how you're going to have the ancient men. They're going to be reincarnated. All right, that's a whole nother lesson within itself. But point being, you're going to have, you know, ancient, our ancient forefathers being re reincarnated. And they're going to be set up as leaders. All right. So, yes, you, you know, you will have leaders. And they're going to do what? They're going to inspire the people to do what? Godly activities. Okay? You see? Holy activities. They're going to push what? Righteousness. You see? So, it's very important, okay, to, uh, you know, uh, first and foremost, of course, you know, be on a heavenly vibration, but also put, put, uh, 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 push that, that energy out there. Let's get this. Because this is what it says in the gospel. And we're not supposed to hide our, uh, our candle. You know, roughly paraphrasing it. Let's get this. This is um, Matthew chapter 5 and 14. And it reads here. Ye are... Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. See, that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're, like I said, you know, these good works, of course, they, you know, we do it for ourselves first and foremost. But then we want other brothers to see these things so they can be what? Inspired to do what? Godly things, heavenly things, righteousness, basically. OK, you see. That's that, that's why it's important to be inspirational to brothers. OK. You see. Well, let me uh, keep uh, reading. It says uh, back in this. Um. This scripture here, okay, and uh, or not scripture, but this definition of uh, inspiration, it says, immediate influence of the Most High, or, or or a God. Okay, especially that under which the holy books were written. And it goes into what inhaling, breathing in inspiration, all right. And it, um, it talks about how wisdom is what, a, a basically the breath of the Most High. That's in the Book of Wisdom of Solomon. Okay, so that's the, the, like I said, this is what we're pushing: righteousness, holiness. You see, wisdom. You know, to our, uh, our our fellow, you know, neighbor, our brethren. You know. You see. All right. Let me uh, salak it. My bad, I got a little distracted. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we got to put, like I said, push that vibration. Okay. And, uh, what was I looking for? That's something in my mind now slipping. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> you get distracted, something happens. And next thing you know, that thought, you know, just, just slips your mind. Uh, that's terrible. I had something in my head too. You know, of course, you know, <laughs> nothing. What, uh, what else is new? Hey, we're, we're dealing with spiritual, uh, uh, uh spiritual battle here you know so there's always something that comes up nothing could ever go smooth hey but hey these are what the conditions of the battle you know all right but um oh that's the one i wanted to get now it came uh, came to me to mind the water you hold about shimmy out shot this is uh first peter chapter five we'll start at one the main point is actually in four though okay and it says here, 1 Peter 5 and 1, The elders which are among you I exhort, whom am also an elder, 
a, and a witness of the sufferings of Yahweh Shai, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of the Most High Yahweh, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. And this is what the men of the Lord should be doing, okay? Hey, we should be feeding the flock. Feeding them what? Hey, you know, these uh, the godly and goodly words, okay? You know, hey, you know, being that, you know, that example, which is going to get right here. Neither as being lords of the Most High's heritage, but being examples to the flock. You see, that's what we need to be doing. Being those examples, okay? Hey, because hey, we're, 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 if we're uh, part of the 144,000, right? <clears throat> we are those uh, men who are going to be, the, you know, um, you know, the ruling class. We're going to be the, the top tier men, okay? The top tier men, all right, aren't on a low vibration. Okay, they're not, and then they, they have to you know show you know uh, uh, you know the people what to do, you know what's godly, what's evil, you know what's holy, what's pro profane. You see, that's what we need to be doing. All right, verse four, and when the chief shepherd shall appear. Ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. And see, that's what we're looking for. Okay? We're looking for um a, 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 that crown of glory that Yahweh Shah is coming with. Okay? Uh, that, that's what we're aiming for. You know, he, he's that chief shepherd. Remember that. And he's coming back. And he's going to have a reward with him. Okay? Let me get one last scripture. I think it's in the book of Timothy. Uh, uh, right here. That's what it says in Timothy. I'll just end it off with this. This is uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers. Okay, see, we got to be an example to the, uh, to, to, these, to the believers out here. In word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. See? That's what we need to be doing. Showing our people what it means to really be a Hebrew Israelite. A child of the Most High. Okay? Let's keep reading. Verse 13. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Which was given thee by pro uh, prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Okay, meaning that the uh, the elders, the body of elders, they're going to um, help you, you know, uh, get, get that gift out. Okay, you know, they're, they're going to train you up. You see? You can't do this alone. You need a man to guide you. Alright? Verse 15. Medi meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear at all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. You see? Like I said, yeah, these things are first and foremost, you know, for you. But then at the same time, you know, it's for the body as well. Okay. See, the point being, hey, just be inspirational, the brothers. All right. And continue to be that good example. But I'm going to end this lesson. I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to you. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.